in the news such as, oh, Obama wins the class action lawsuit because now they have to sue him one at a time. So much for a class action. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headline of today. We'll do it right here. Okay, we're doing a little bit different today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. See, see, this is what happens when it's, it's a little cooler. I actually have a wrap with me that I bring over to the beach. Yeah. Yes, let's see, Walmart wins the case over class action. Oh, yeah, because the Obama administration was trying to get lawsuits based on class action by having a statistical measurement saying X amount of people must be being discriminated against. If you discriminate against uh, four or five, then one million must be discriminated against. Blah, 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 blah. It doesn't Don't work like that. They I said mean, the statistics are specifically for every uh, one person that doesn't file a complaint, four point uh, for uh, four point five. No, for every person that files a complaint, four point five aren't. So if ten people filed complaints, one million people is a little bit over the statistics, folks. And the market is up over Greece needing even more money. I know. Basically, they're talking about tossing Greece out of the European Union and basically dissolving it because the money is never, uh, the, the, it's never ending on the amount of money that these countries are going to get because the unions aren't, they're socialist governments and they're not going to change. So, they're basically, they're, <laughs> they're throwing the elected officials out whether, rather than to cut spending. So. I know. Some people would say that sounds like some relatives. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Democrats blame Republicans for not funding their programs when they control Congress. I know. The, the Republicans couldn't stop anything. Even with procedures, they couldn't stop it because they had more than enough votes to, to, to do it. I mean, they wouldn't even bring up Republican objections in the Senate and House. Well, you know, see, here's part of it is that over time you understand that no matter what happens, it's the Republicans' fault. Well, yeah, that's the whole process. I mean, there's, I, I, I mean, I, I've... I've heard the reporter saying that the simple thing to do is just to put the talking points out on the chair and have the talking points read because the only going George Bush and Republicans caused the situation. We didn't realize the situation that George Bush and Republicans caused. If you want to go back to the same old things under George Bush and the Republicans, you know that we're getting out of the situation that George Bush and the Republicans caused. Uh, no, we're not. And people want to go back to those good old days when they had jobs. When the unions were making more money, when people had homes, when you could afford food, you know, just those minor little details. I know, and NATO admits mistaken Libya strike that reportedly killed nine. Yeah, that's uh, considerably more than nine. Well, for one thing, they they attacked a, a Lib uh, the Freedom Fighters convoy and wiped it out. Then they attacked a, a neighborhood of people that weren't Gaddafi supporters. They attacked mosques, they attacked schools, so they... they, they uh, what happens is Obama has this big idea of firing missiles in the communities rather than sacrificing soldiers. You fire missiles in. Missiles don't have eyes like soldiers, folks. Ooh, A soldier could tell that those are the wrong people. And ash from Chile and volcano grounds life. Well, yeah, I mean, I saw that is the most beautiful pictures from that volcano. Oh, really? I mean, the colors are magnificent. What kind of things it does when there's a volcano ash in the air? Yeah, but as they point out, as they continually, as like last night, I was watching the uh, the Green Green Planet Channel, which actually isn't green anymore because they couldn't make any money because no one wants green. But they were talking about how that more one volcanic eruption puts more stuff into the atmosphere than all the automobiles and factories in a year do, in really? one eruption. Wow. That's one day. And Romney draws criticism for not signing pro-life pledge. Well, yeah, because Romney's not pro-life. He, he, he's an abortion Republican. I mean, they said that... An abortion Republican? Yeah, he believes in women's rights to have abortion. But uh, the problem is, is that he, they, he's unelectable. The Republicans, why he's avoiding these straw polls is because he knows he's going to lose all of them. And well, losing then he them might as puts well you. Not run, then. Well, I know that's where the heart of the party is. He's not mm -hmm. going to run, folks. The, Repo the Democrat Republicans are looking for anyone other than any of the candidates they have, because once again, the latest poll says nobody wants Obama as president. No one. Well, here's the hard part. I mean, it's like if nobody wants Obama. It should be the anything but Obama vote. But what happens is they put up candidates that. Well, Republicans don't even want. Them. I know. And the problem is they didn't want McCain, even though they. 
they they nominated him, so they didn't vote for him. Yeah, Obama they, couldn't they, have won the election. They might be better up by putting no candidate up. You could just put a generic Republican up, and he'll beat Obama by about ten points. And profitless Pandora pricks that tech bubble. Well, you know, Pandora. Is, I know that's just unbelievable. They put up a thing asking for a ton of money. It oversold on the first day, yeah. and since then it's been selling way. It's been uh, basically people lost billions of dollars. Billions, but the guy that owns the company made a lot of money because he's been selling his stock. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I guess it's um, compared to, oh, what was that other company where it went up a lot and then, oh, yeah. And then they were suing them because. Yeah. Well, because. Oh, they didn't put a uh, price to. Well, right. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they're suing Bank of America, I think, over. Uh, over price, they, you know, they they sold the they, they bought huge amounts of stock when it was low, sold it when it was high, and the stock wasn't worth anything. So, mm -hmm. and it's saw to address Syria to block refugees. Yeah, you know, they basically the other countries are going to start shooting them anyway because they're wanting these people to stop coming into their country. The Turks don't want them in there. The Iraqis don't want them. The Jordan doesn't want them. So basically, they're. You're facing a problem. They're going to start executing everybody, folks. You think so? Yeah. Ooh. A massive wildfire. Oh, massive, massive Arizona wildfire expected to enter New Mexico. Yeah, it already has now. It just keeps expanding because the basically the area. What happens is we and the Democrats and the conservationists uh, staged a program. They put it in effect years ago, which means you fight all wildfires instead of letting them burn the brush out. So what happens yeah. now is that the wildfires can no longer be fought because there's so much uh, material to be burnt. So, I mean, you know, it basically, you go look at an early movie with Richard Widmark and and, uh, and uh, Richard Boone, and you'll see, like, fire in Montana where that was allowed to happen. The fire is just tens of thousands of acres. It was spread over because you got to get that brush underneath the plants gone. If it doesn't, too bad. And five New Orleans cops make the try on post Karina. Well, yeah, they, they they do the same thing they were doing before Katrina. I know, but I would think that they, if they were going to do it, this would have happened before. They don't. Like they, you, you don't convict loss. You don't convict those police officers for killing uh, criminals, folks. Mm. It isn't done. Yeah, and flooding overwhelms Montana and supplies buried in. Yeah, because the the Missouri River is over the banks. What happens is, uh, it is a good one. You let you don't burn off the underbrush underneath all of the areas that should have been let burn by lightning strikes. It burns really bad. It then takes years to grow back, and then when you get a heavy rainfall, the rainfall all goes into the river, folks, and then over the banks. I know, and we're sitting here looking at this, and it's like, yeah, the sun's out, and it's windy. It's like, what do we have to complain about, right? It's cold, as you can see. <laughs> see, it's just let up. Right. <laughs> And the Chinese village relies on snake farms to support the economy. Yeah, which they're basically selling snake meat, they're selling venom, really? they're selling everything. So, which is no different than they do in our countries in Florida. I mean, there's tons of snake farms in Florida. Oh, do, are they? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't oh. eat. Snake meat does not taste like chicken, no matter what they say, folks. No, it's supposed to taste like that. Yeah, it's supposed to taste like chicken. That's what they tell everybody. Yeah, and GOP filled anything but... Uh, Steady as New Hampshire debate nears. Well, because no, okay, nobody liked any of the. It, it actually, uh, nobody likes any of the candidates. Totally, they don't like any of the candidates. So you're kind of, they, they, they got to run some. That's why Perry, Perry is going to come in. They said Perry has no chance whatsoever because he said, uh, taken out of context, we're doing so well and nobody pays any attention to us Are in the Obama sure? administration that probably we should just succeed from the union and be the United States of Texas. Oh. And they're basically take that as well. He wants to succeed from the Union. Yeah. Steady. That was a joke, folks. Oh, really? It's an attack on the Obama administration. They're trying to use it as a, he wants to be a successionist. Oh. Yeah. Steady, a forestation will hardly dent global warming problem. Uh, and that's something that putting plants back in, they're saying, we're, the problem is we've taken plants out. Now putting plants in doesn't work. Well. Yeah, and, oh, look, we've got some birds coming this way. Well, what it means is uh, you can't win no matter what with the Democrats. It's, you, you know, it's either global warming or it's, or it's global cooling. You either have to reforest or reforestation doesn't work, period. So. Yeah. 
Yeah, we get four pelicans going that way. Yeah. CIA chief on visit to repair ties with Pakistan. That ain't gonna happen because they basically just found out the the Pakistani uh, intelligence gov officers just turned, uh, you know, told about another military operation. Oh, they did. Yeah, the Pakistan are Muslims, folks. I mean, my God, they don't like anybody, but they don't even like themselves. So. Oh really? And a Monty bubble is from the Mark Twain the animal kingdom. Okay, you know you're getting old when you're told that, you know, that because of the way you're dressed, you're not going to find anybody that wants to go out with you, and you really could care less. <laughs> and you know what? One of the things that you get to see today, you're seeing actually what happens behind the camera, although you watch it in front of the camera this time. Yeah. Oh, well, just from right. She's got her coat on, so she's warmer. Generally, she stands behind the camera and reads. 